This is a Lego car, and this is a really fast treadmill, and this is a giant Lego wall. And in this video, we're gonna put this wall on the treadmill and test 10 different cars against it. But first, let's get this treadmill up to max speed. We'll start with this tiny Lamborghini Huracan and see what it can do against this giant wall. Let's unleash this little guy and see what happens. Straight into the wall and off to the side. No action there. As the video progresses, the cars will get bigger, like the Suzuki Alto GT that I built for one of you guys. Will it knock over the wall? I doubt it, but let's see how it does compared to the Lamborghini. And it hits the wall like a rock and does nothing, as suspected. Let's try something a little bigger. Our next contender is the Lego Ferrari F40, the quintessential Lego car. Now let's put it to the test. I have a feeling this guy may have a chance, so let's put him down and see what he can do. That's disappointing. I hope something better would come from him. All right, I think I want to try the Nissan Skyline R34 because it's got kind of a square nose. Maybe it hits it like a rock. Okay, he's coming in hot and of course nothing, but I saw the wall move a little bit, so there's some hope. Okay, now let's test the last regular car, the Pagani Utopia, which is my favorite Lego car, and let's see how it does. I feel like it's just gonna have the same result, and yep, just hits the wall and crashes. Now let's test out the McLaren Souls GT Spaceship Edition. As you see, it's got wings and the wheels are face down like thrusters. Let's sit it down, get it lined up, and see how it does. Whoa, that thing just launched and took it out. All right, for giggles, let's use this Lego Star Wars Starfighter and see how it holds up. I feel like the pointiness of it will just take out that wall. I wonder what this one will do. Let's sit it down and see what it does. Oh, it knocks the wall, but it doesn't take it out. I'd say the wall wins this one. Okay, since the wall's technically broken twice now, I beefed up the side so the pressure is applied towards the middle. At least that's how I think it works. Okay, last weird vehicle, the Ferrari boat, which is a boat I built out of a Lego Ferrari. I have zero doubt this won't knock out the wall, so let's just put it to the test. And there we go, wall's down. How about the two for one deal here? We got a car and its carrier. We'll run the little car first and then the car on top of the carrier to see if the weight changes anything. And here goes the little car. I wonder if it's gonna have an impact on anything. I doubt it, and yep, just hits the wall and bounces off. Okay, now let's use that hauler and the car on top. I feel like the extra weight plus the, the flat face will affect the wall. Oh, I saw it bounce, but it didn't break. Darn it. Okay, now let's try out Batman's Dusty Tumbler. I feel like the size and these giant wheels in the back will have some effect on the wall. So let's put it to the test. I feel like it's going to do it. And oh, there we go. It had some hesitation, but it took out the wall. Only the second car to do it. And now our biggest car, the McLaren Senna. I don't know why I have this. It's like falling apart, and I didn't even build it. It's a secondhand purchase, but let's test it. It would be hilarious if this thing didn't break the wall, but I'm sure it will. And there we go. Cleanly takes it off. Well, we just tested these 10 cars against the wall. If you want to see how I tested Lego cars against the treadmill itself, check out this video right here. 